everyone. This is going to be a video response for Mr. Dustin Perry's contest. First and foremost, congratulations on the subscribers. I actually found your channel through someone else's response to your contest, and I have subscribed. And uh, good luck to everyone in the contest. But now, let's get to it. He wanted to know about our progression as a hobbyist. So I can't show you the first miniatures I painted because they were painted with the enamel paints for the model cars and things like that, scale models, and uh, I've since stripped the paint off of them. Now when I first started with the acrylics, this is the first miniature I ever painted. Now, as you can see, his weapon has come loose. I still have it somewhere. But uh, it's just a basic night. No shading, no highlighting, just basic colors. I did uh, do the lion on the shield. And there was a mounted version of this as well, which I'm not sure where that is. So, after I painted that one, years later, I had these miniatures. And I painted them up. Can't remember what they came with. But there was a set of them, and this is the samurai. Tried to do the spots on his his shirt there. Get a little fancy, but still very basic. No shading, no highlighting. And this is one from a little bit later. Just a dragon. Again, very basic. And then some years later, I had a friend who got the, and I made a video of this as well, but he got the Warhammer Quest set. And we all took turns painting different miniatures. And this one I tried to get fancy doing the stripes on the tunic, things like that. But still, no highlighting, no inks, no shading. You can really see it with this guy here. Just basic colors. And this is the first time I used the Citadel paint line far as paints. Then from there, I started to try to get fancy. This is still to date one of my favorite models. Started using a little shading, putting some wash on it, things like that. Did a little rust on his armor. Then I did this goblin. I did several goblins at this time where I did like the checkerboard pattern, things like that on their clothing. And started doing rudimentary basing, which is just some flock. I did this guy where I started trying to do little symbols and things. Getting a little more fancy with uh, washes, highlights, things like that. Then I got into Warhammer Fantasy. So I did my Beastman Army. Again, some symbols. Tried to do the eyes a little better with the, the red, and I put the actual spot in there. Like a pupil or maybe the light reflecting. Using washes, highlights. Just one of my beast men. He's got uh, the rust on his weapon. Again, rudimentary basing. Just some flock and painted the, the base green. And then shortly after that, I made my first little mini diorama. Which is a really basic base. Put a tombstone on there. Did some highlighting and shading and things on the tombstone. And then I got to where I am now, and this is the more recent things I painted. This is some of my Nurgle Plague Marines. And most of these I've shown in other videos, so I'm just making it real quick. Now, 
as far as terrain goes, I started out with the cutout patterns like this. Just put them on uh, cardstock, cut it out, and put it together. So it's just basic. From there, I went to some more elaborate cardboard structures with the window here, things like that, my chimney. Then uh, from that, I went to things like this. Now this is actually made out of a pizza box. Kind of basic. But that's when I first started making actual three-dimensional terrain. And then from there, I'm going to go to another room and show you the kinds of stuff that I do now. So now, I do stuff like there's the graveyard, animal pens, this is all Malifaux stuff. Actually doing the boards, the tables. And all sorts of different types of terrain, then I'm doing this board with the water. Then, all of this stuff. All different types of terrain. Got hangar buildings, there's tank traps right there. Got some foliage on those. Got this building here. With all the signs on it. Got this rocket launching pad that I did. That big piece right there. The road sections. I've used clay to do the fountain there for Mordheim. So, just lots of varied the spikes there types of terrain and branched out in the types of things that I've been doing with terrain. So you can see terrain really has come quite far from the beginning with the little uh, cardstock cutouts. But that's all I have for now. Till next time, everybody take care.